Hello everyone, today's stream we're going back to Spain. This time is a new artisan, Jabons Javieiro. In particular is gonna be Kudo Nudo. So this is gonna be a first time for me with this artisan. So we'll see how this performs. Now there's no splash with this. He, he only does the soaps, he doesn't do splashes or aftershaves. We'll find out depending on the scent what we're gonna use afterwards. To go with it, I'm going back to Design 94 and the Aviation the aluminium razor by them and we're gonna use an Astra Superior Platinum was the first one that came in into my hand and to leather it we're gonna use the Simpson Trafalgar T3 uh, I haven't used this in a while it is one of the great synthetic ones on the market so that's what we're gonna use actually I'm gonna put it to soak straight away there you go. Is there soaking now? Let's load up the blade in the razor and uh, then wet the face and start this shave. Here we go. There you go. Ready? Leave it there on the back. Now before I open, let's wet the face. There we go. Now let's check. Jabons Javiero Kudo Nudo. Now, I'm gonna say one thing straight away. I wouldn't be the best one to try this this scent, I have to say. Yeah, the first thing that comes to, to, to my nose is one of the few scents that I, it's hard for me to handle. I'm talking about, I think is anise or fennel, something like that. Ooh, yeah, and it's it's a hard one for me, and I'm gonna explain why. Well, uh, actually, there was a, a, few, a soap in the past, if you guys go, go check, one of my f early, early videos, and there was a, a, a a soap that had kind of this scent and it was the main scent actually. This one has something else there which doesn't make it as pronounced as the, the that previous one but there's definitely here. It's either anise or fennel, something like that. And we have a drink in Portugal that is made from it, an alcoholic drink. And I got drunk on it. So even to this day, I can't smell that without feeling some, some kind of way. And that scent is here. Ooh, yeah, definitely. That scent is here. Now, we're gonna keep going with the shave, but this scent is not for me. If you, guy, if you guys like anise, definitely. Actually, he has the scent notes there, uh, which says Lima, Herba Buena, which I don't know what it is. It might be that um inojo y cedro um yeah definitely i think it, it's this uh, i think we in portugal they call it erva doce which is a, a sweet herb and uh, no or anise as well i don't know if it's this hinojo Whew. this feels fresh i have to say there's definitely a bit of lime there a bit of citrusy but definitely not the scent for me we're gonna use it and i'm gonna see the 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 base anyway see my throat is kind of mm. in terms of the scent this is definitely not for me um but let's see the the, the base i have other ones so i'll make it up to habons javiero and get another scent but this one is definitely not for me yeah no nah, no nah, i can't i can't uh, no i'll leave the lid here on the back let's see at least how it performs and the base let's go There you go, they're washed up now. Let's put it there on the back. Now, I have to say, thank God it's not one of those really intense scents, so I can do the shave without any problem. So let's go into the brush and let's start leathering and see how it performs. Here we go. There we go, leathered up. Oof, I have to say, even though the scent has that thing that I don't like and it's a bit pronounced here it's definitely there's more scents there that kind of redeem and actually make me feel like it's easier to use so it's not actually one that I think I'm gonna put it on the side I might actually use this for example heads head shaves and I have to say definitely it's kind of coming up to me even though the first feeling is that Ugh, because of that scent that I don't like or that brings me bad memories but uh now it's okay it's actually forming a different scent there although sometimes it hits and it, uh, you'll see my face going yeah kind of but i have to say this leather is oh my god look the amount of leather you, you have there is just crazy i have loads there fallen there we go so and i know it's pretty slick already just by the finger thing so good base looks like it let's see now protection and how it suits the skin but definitely there's loads of slickness there you can feel straight away so let's put this in the back there let's grab the razor and let's start this shave here we go aviation by Design 94 with an Astra Superior Platinum in it. First use. 
straight away a lot of protection a lot of slickness straight away yeah the base is good good one and i'm feeling soothing the skin already i don't know if it's my nose getting used to it already but it's it doesn't feel as bad now as i felt on the first hit and uh, javier i'm sorry i know you're gonna watch this but this has that scent that ugh, it's hard for me uh but it's actually subduing now i don't know if it's the mixture of all the other senses kind of making it easier to use but um yeah that anise or um uh, fennel i don't know if it's fennel or if it's anise it's basically more or less the same it's one of the hardest scents for me i had other soaps that i use that have that scent but i don't feel it at all but this one kind of the first impact was straight away that one uh, hence my ugh reaction now actually while i'm shaving now it's kind of other scents coming up uh and it, it, it doesn't feel as um as gut, gut wrenching as normally it feels for me so kudos to you at least i'll be able to use it so here we go let's clean up the razor and keep going with the shave Now, I have to say, in terms of performance, the base is excellent. Leathered really, really, really quick. Loads of protection, loads of sleekness. And the scent is kind of coming up to me now. It's not, um, it, it, it doesn't twist my, my belly now as much. Um, maybe because of all the other scents, it's kind of subduing the anise or fennel, whatever it is there on the back. So, good stuff. I'm trying to identify other, other stuff there because it's in Spanish and I don't know for sure the meaning of them, but one thing i know it feels fresh it feels like a fresh scent really really nice and i was definitely needing a shave i had a bit of growth there today and i really needed a shave so let's go let's get ready for second pass there we go let's get back to the brush and i have to say this space is actually pretty good even now when i was taking it off the amount of sleekness is just crazy really 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 nice space i definitely gonna get other ones with different scents scents that i might enjoy but on the other hand this is a different experience i'm feeling something that i don't like but it's mingled with other stuff that is kind of uh, making it easier for me to use so it's an experience and i love experiences Let, let's go let's get ready for second pass There we go. We're ready for second pass. Put it there on the back. Yeah, really, really strange. I'm actually starting to enjoy it. it, it it's definitely not... The first hit was definitely get wrenching, I have to say. But now it's kind of coming up, you know what I mean? So, and I, I like this because um, I was surprised a few times already when I saw that it had anise that I don't like and I didn't feel it. This time around, I felt it straight away. But now it's actually becoming in, more enjoyable, let's put it that way. Even though I still feel it from time to time, but the other scents are kind of disguising it a bit, which is excellent for me. So I like to be surprised like this. Let's go. Second pass across with the Aviation by Design 94 and uh, Astra Superior Platinum, the greens. Let's go. Well, second best then. Excellent, guys. This razor is excellent. This base is phenomenal, I have to say. And it's definitely soothing my skin. The most impressive thing about it is the sleekness and the protection. Loads of protection. Look, I'm just gonna show. Bit of water there, and this just glides. Look, just glides. I have almost nothing there to cut. Got a small bit there. But, look just glides easy effortlessly loads of sleekness and loads of protection just exceptional really really nice base i have to say and the <laughs> the scent i'm actually getting used to it no it's not making me feel noxious or anything like that so excellent yeah really really creamy leather and it feels nice on the skin actually soothing the skin let's go let's get ready and see how much we have left there on the brush there we go Grab the brush and let's see how much we have left. Well, gonna say it again. This is making um, making that scent that I don't like become sweet at the moment. Um, yeah, this is really, really strange for me because my first feeling was, Ugh, and now it's actually making me, you know, when you feel curious, that's what it's making me feel at the moment. It took me the whole shave, but it's actually enjoyable now. This is really, really strange for me. I wasn't expecting this at all. I, I thought this was be, it was gonna be a hard shave just because of the scent, but it's not. It's actually becoming enjoyable. Yeah. <laughs> 
it's really, really strange for me. So let's take this off. And uh, yeah, the other thing before I take it off, this leather is just silky, silky, silky. Pretty, pretty protective, I have to say. I'm actually gonna say one thing. It's probably one of the most protective ones I've tried. Um, For sure, you barely, barely feel the razor when you're passing. And the glidiness of it is just top. Top. This may still be one that I would definitely advise for uh, straight razors. It's pretty, pretty, pretty sleek. The base is up there. Even the scent now is actually kind of enjoyable now. This is really, really strange. Really, really strange for me. You guys have no idea. Because if you saw my first cut, my uh, first feeling was uh, no. And now it's, yeah, it's becoming enjoyable. It, it's making it um, feeling sweet, if you know what I mean. I don't know how to explain there, but uh, yeah. Not bad, actually. Not bad. So, let's go. Let's take this. I'm talking too much already. There we go. Now, let's pet the face. And now let's get some witch hazel. Here we go. That's it. Yeah. Great stuff. Great, great stuff. Yeah, this shave was actually excellent, I have to say. Even the beginning not being great, this finish is just excellent. My my skin is feeling gorgeous, so this base definitely, definitely suits your skin. And it's just BBS, I was really needing a shave, guys. Now, the scent is not staying on the skin, I have to say, but the sleekness is still there. Still there. And it, 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 it's not just the sleekness, it's the sleekness and the sootiness is still there. And you feel it straight away. And now I put the witch hazel and it just enhanced it a bit more. So really, really nice. Now, let's let this dry. I'm gonna wash all my stuff and we'll be back for the post shave, which I still don't know what I'm gonna use. I'll think while I'm washing my stuff. See us in a bit. We're back. So let's go into the post shave. I thought about what to use. So I'm gonna use a balm just to protect because I don't think I need balm at all. It's actually cold outside, so I might need it. But the skin itself is actually feeling really, really, really great, I have to say. Soothe it, not dry at all. But I'm gonna use a balm anyway because I'm gonna use a perfume afterwards and not an aftershave splash. We'll protect the skin before I use some scent afterwards. To do that, we're gonna go with the simplest one Nivea sensitive which you can find anywhere so that's what we're gonna use Now, perfect. It was an excellent shave. So, for a bit of a scent, we're going back to one of my favorites. Although it's not the OG one, this one is the Cologne one. I'm talking about Eternity by Calvin Klein. That's what we're gonna use. There we go, lovely. So I'd, I'd actually put a bit there, but just with the fingertips, I didn't spread it per se. I put it more around here and around the forehead, just to have some scent there, but not the whole thing here on the skin because a perfume is not good for, for the skin. It will dry up, especially after a shave. So just a small little bit here on the cheeks. I don't even put on my complicated area here because I don't want to have any irritations afterwards. That's it, that was our shave. Let's recap and let's talk about the soap in the end. We used the Aviation by Design 94. I love this razor. I have a tendency to go more for the stainless steel one, the Life, but uh, this one actually with the, this Astra was an excellent, excellent combination. Uh, really light, so if you like light ones, this is excellent for, uh, for, for that. If you like the more heavy ones, you need to choose the Life or the Titanium one. Uh, but loved it. I just love, love these heads. They give me an excellent, excellent shave. So that's the Aviation by Design 94. To leather with, we use the Simpson Trafalgar T3 Synthetic Knot. Uh, you find this anywhere. It's one of the great, great synthetic brushes on the market for an affordable price and great, great performer. Excellent brush. Then, post shave, we use Nivea Sensitive. Affordable, you can find it anywhere. Does the job nicely. What more can you ask for? Nivea Sensitive. We finished off with uh, Eternity by Calvin Klein. One of my favorite ones. I, use, I still have the original one, the OG one. And that's one that I always have on my den, but I tried this one, the Cologne one. It's pretty excellent as well. So that's what we use today. Eternity Cologne by Calvin Klein. Excellent scent. Now let's talk about the soap and the conclusions on my first try with Habon Javiero Kudo Nudo. I'm going to be honest and you guys saw my reaction in the beginning. I didn't like it. <laughs> straight off the bar in terms of this scent. It was a bit gut-wrenching for me because of that scent that I was explaining already. Every time I smell it, it gives me a 
not on my belly, basically. But as I was shaving, and this was a big surprise for me, as I was shaving, it started feeling sweet and sweeter. And by the end, I was actually enjoying, which is really, really strange for me. Uh, so even now, I'm actually, I'm enjoying this one now. Uh, it, it, I don't know if it's the other, it has lime and I, you feel the lime there. I don't know what's the other scent notes that he put there. I have to check out, do the translation to English. But uh, yeah, it, it, it becomes sweet now and actually pretty enjoyable, which is really, really, really weird for me. Really weird. On the other hand, the thing that for me was phenomenal was the leather. The leather was really quick and it was actually already for me while I was loading the brush. I didn't need much time so it was a really quick leathering one. The sleekness on it is up there with the best of them on the market I have to say. Really thick leather, really really silky silky leather and quick to form which was really really exceptional. And the other thing protection. The protection for me was up there. I would probably advise if you are a straight razor try this base. I think you guys gonna enjoy it a lot a lot of protection i have to say and the glidiness is just off the chart really really nice post shave i'm feeling my skin is not drying at all feeling great i felt soothing the skin while i was shaving as well which for me is one of the main things that i look for but uh impressive protection and sleekness so that's my conclusions of this soap and this shave let's leave it there on the back drying i'm gonna have to get another one with a different scent although I'm gonna say it again, this really surprised me because by the end I was enjoying it, which is really, really strange for me. Uh, I'm, I'm still wrapping my head around it, like, you know, uh, because pff, you guys have no idea how it makes me feel when I have that scent straight in my face. But now it's feeling it sweet, strange. So that's it for me now. Hope you guys enjoyed this shave, a different experience for me. And I love these different experiences. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to put a like on it, really helps the channel. And if you wanna help the channel even more, there's my affiliate links down below. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Ciao.